Good morning, everybody, and happy Friday. Today is Friday, September 11th, 2020, and here are the announcements for today. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for a moment of silence. Thank you, you may be seated. We have a lot of people celebrating birthdays today and over the weekend. Happy birthday today goes to Isabella Seden Sieber, Israel Lara, David Aconquo, and Amy Rivera. Over the weekend, we're gonna be celebrating Zoe Arauz, Giovanni Dominguez, David Montesino, Valeria Rodas, Brianna Zamora Zavala, Alejandro Jimenez, Kenai Perez, and Sofia Perez. And happy belated birthday to Mrs. Monroe who celebrated her birthday yesterday and we missed it. Happy birthday to you, Miss Monroe. Hope you have a great birthday weekend. Well, today is September 11th, guys, and September 11th is Patriot Day. And let's talk a little bit about what that is. On September 11th, 2001, 19 militants associated with the extremist group Al-Qaeda hijacked four, four jet airliners and carried out suicide attacks against targets in the United States. Two planes were flown into the towers of the World Trade Center in New York City. A third plane hit the Pentagon just outside Washington, D.C. A fourth plane crashed in a field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Often referred to as 9-11, the attacks resulted in extensive death and destruction. Over 3,000 people were killed during the attacks on September 11, 2001 including more than 400 police officers and firefighters. The attacks triggered major U.S. initiatives to combat worldwide terrorism. In memory of those who died in September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks, each September 11 is designated as Patriot Day. The National September 11 Memorial and Museum in New York City is the principal memorial and museum commemorating the September 11th attacks of 2001, which killed nearly 3,000 people, and the World Trade Center bombing of 1993, which killed six. The Pentagon Memorial, located just southwest of the Pentagon in Virginia, is a permanent outdoor memorial to the 184 men and women who died as victims in the building and on American Airlines Flight 77 during the attacks on September 11, 2001. The Flight 93 National Memorial in Shanksville, Pennsylvania is located at the site of the crash of United Airlines Flight 93, which was hijacked in the attacks of September 11, 2011. That's 2001. The memorial was made to honor the passengers and crew of Flight 93 who stopped the terrorists from reaching their target. Let's all pause to honor those we lost on September 11. Thank you. And now we have some news from Dr. Lopez's nest. Good morning, Wise Owls and happy Friday. Today is Friday, September 11, 2020. Boys and girls, today is also Patriot Day, and we should remember the those who lost their lives during the September 11th attacks on our country. Also, boys and girls, this weekend on Sunday, we will be celebrating National Grandparents Day. So if you're lucky enough to see your grandparents on Sunday, make sure that you wish them a very gra happy Grandparents Day. And if you don't get to see them, at least give them a call to wish them a happy Grandparents Day. Um, boys and girls, as a reminder, just from keep asking your parents to do their homework, which is to join the PTA and to apply for free or reduced lunch. Always remember that if you need help, you can contact us at school. 
And now for the best part of the announcements, the classes with 100% attendance. We have in pre-K, we have Ms. Badillo and Ms. Contreras. In kindergarten, we have Ms. D. Garcia and Mr. Rodriguez. In first grade, we have Ms. Heaston and Ms. Monroe. In second grade, we have Ms. Heaston, Ms. Monroe, and Ms. Rubio. In third grade, we have Ms. Chavez and Ms. Vidal. In fourth grade, we have Ms. Bonin and Ms. Vidal. And in fifth grade, we have Ms. Antigua, Mr. Cheney, Ms. Coolen, and Ms. P. Rodriguez. So congratulations to those classes. And again, boy and boys and girls, I'm expecting to see more classes listed on this list with classes with 100% attendance. So let's shape up next week, okay? Um, those are all my announcements. Uh, boys and girls, have a wonderful weekend. Thank you. Oh, Dr. Lopez is making a run for it. I don't blame you, Dr. Lopez. It's been a long week. All right, so one more thing that I wanted to speak to you guys about was that we are not using K-12 anymore. Now, everyone is in Teams. When you go onto your portal, the first part shows you how to get onto the portal, which everybody should know. And then the second part shows you that you are, when you click on your My School Online, it's going to lead you straight into your Teams. And your Teams is going to have different squares that have different classes in it. And one of those squares that you see should be the Oliver Hoover Media Center. And that's where you can reach me. And I also post the morning announcements there. So if you miss them or you want to go back and check them out again, you can see them there in the Media Center team. But your classroom teams will be there in your box. And then you will click on those teams to get to your Zoom sessions and your assignments and whatever other things your teachers post for you. And this is also showing you your grades in the electronic grade book. That's what that little icon means. And this is your Office 365 where you can get to do all kinds of things that you can explore how to do. Teams is included in there, but you can also do Word, PowerPoint, and lots of other things. These pages that I'm showing here on this page can be found on our website. So if you wanna go back and look at these again, you can go to our school's website and go to the student page and right underneath here where it says student portal, you will see student portal navigation guide. And it's these clips, these pictures that I have here. You can see it in English by clicking this one or in Spanish by clicking that one, okay? And it's the weekend, wishing everybody a wonderful, restful weekend. Rejuvenate and recover because we got another week coming up. Have a great weekend, everybody.